Hi everybody and welcome to another video. My name is Richard Seidlitz and I'm the owner of redpants.lol. Today I'm going to be sharing another little experience that's sort of a follow on to my last one which was my window randomly not working anymore and how to fix that. Well, two days ago I noticed that I had a bit of a jiggle in my steering wheel. Basically I was driving along and I noticed that I had about this much play in it before the steering wheel had any effect on shifting. It was basically a dead zone about this big where it was completely loose. It just sort of jiggled back and forth. It kind of twerked, I guess is the modern parlance. After those points on either side, it was perfectly fine with steering. It felt great. There was no handling issues. It was just that dead zone in the middle. Well, yesterday it was more of that again. And I put it in the back of my mind thinking, okay, I need to fix this, but I've got so much crap going on, as many of you are aware, that I just sort of forgot about it immediately after getting home and parking my car. Well, today, same thing. I go out, but this time I noticed it's a little bit worse and I wanted to play with it a bit to see if I can narrow it down. So my immediate concern was that it would be suspension. Uh, if not suspension, maybe the steering rack or the steering column, but I was expecting suspension. Bushings go bad, and that's just one of those things that can affect uh, that can be affected is the steering, especially having that looseness in it. Basically, your bushings are not reacting or giving the feedback to it. Um, that's another topic entirely, which I will be getting to at some point. But um, that was my main concern. Uh, beyond that, a steering rack, which I really hoped it wouldn't be, but I didn't expect. And also the steering column, which again, I hoped it wouldn't be, but I also didn't expect. My number one suspicion was the steering, or excuse me, the suspension. So. I was driving along and I was like, this is really bad. But as I did the jiggle back and forth, I realized that dead zone like this was also side to side and up and down. It looked like this. So as you can see, the car is stopped. It's in the, it's in my garage. It's not going anywhere. It's not a suspension issue. It's definitely the steering wheel or steering column at that point. So I expect it to be the steering wheel itself. I think it's just the nut that holds it in is loose. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump in the car, tear it apart and see if we can spot what's really going on. Before I get in there, I do want to say that I have already made a video that shows how to remove the steering wheel and replace it. So in my car, for example, I have an Alcantara one. Uh, the original one was leather and I had a video showing how to swap those out. I also talked about steering wheels in general. I'll have a link in the description below so you can find that video. And I'll also have a title card at the end of this video. So when this one ends, you'll see those recommended videos. That will be one of them. So you can check this out if you need to do this yourself. Okay, so here we have the bolt that holds on the steering wheel and you can see this steering wheel is just flopping around and needs to be re-secured. Yeah, I can turn this bolt with my hand, which is a bad thing. So, All better. And there we go, another job done quickly and easily and saved me a lot of consternation. I, uh, I had to use a big word because I said twerking earlier and I feel dirty for it. But hey, um, it was just that one loose Torx bolt. That was a T50 Torx bolt that holds on the steering wheel itself. And it wasn't a huge safety issue because there are splines on here that keep it from just spinning right off. It's not just pressure fit. Uh, but it was going to be a safety issue if that bolt had continued to back off the way that it was. Um, so that's all taken care of. Everything is good to go. And I can continue 
carrying on trying to keep up with everything that 2020 has been doing. Uh, I have a feeling that this series of videos is going to be an ongoing thing because this car has 85,000 rather abusive miles on it and I'm about to start treating it a whole lot worse. So I think a lot of these little issues are gonna be popping up. So if you like this video, if you like these kinds of videos, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a like, and if you haven't, if you haven't done so already, check out www.redpants.lol for more Aston Martin parts and information. And don't forget to check out the store. Uh, that is what pays my bills these days. So so every single sale from that store is massively appreciated. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.